Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. So, uh, as you know, when I wear my mask, it is kind of an opinion video. I'm not reading anything because I can't read with this mask on. In fact, I can't see with the mask on because I can't wear my glasses. <laughs> but I don't need to see. I see with my heart. So, listen, I wanted to talk to you and share with you a little bit more about me because uh, I've had a very unusual life and I have followed a different path. So check this out. Uh, when I was younger, I decided to be my own best parent. And I read practically every self-help book in the world. Like to the point where I just can't, I, I can't stomach it. Uh, but what I did do while I was growing and learning was when I would see a phrase. At that time, I was selling uh, cases for the film and video industry. I used to design them. You know, those foam boxes you see all the cameras put in there? That was my job for six years. So I knew a lady who made, like, these little tags. You know, you see the boxes. So I would have her make up phrases. This is a phrase that I have up on my wall. I have this in my bedroom as a matter of a fact life is your gift from God what you do with your life is your gift to God I heard that I don't even know where I heard that but um, I had her underline it because this is the important part we are gifted life all creatures are gifted life and our, our little animal creatures man they try the hardest I got this from Louise Hay. I know exactly where I got this from because I read Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life. I refer to it frequently because when you're a, a, an, a child abuse survivor to thriver, uh, things come up in your life where you are triggered and you don't even know. Things happen. People think they're just being nice or something happens, some weird thing, and then all of a sudden, but about a being all these memories flood back up because the memory of human beings is quite odd. We can choose to forget shit. Like, people are choosing to forget Fukushima. The nuclear industry is choosing to forget that they are dumping waste everywhere. As Donna Gilmore is famous for saying, every nuclear power plant uh, produces a thousand Chernobyls, folks, potential. And what is the United States doing? We're storing it on land, up above the ground. We just opened WIP, although it falls apart all the time. So we are choosing to forget, right? So this phrase helps me all the time. It is my divine right to change my life. Thank you, Libby Halady, for letting us know this. We are importing. We are actually importing nuclear waste from foreign countries where an American nuclear power plant is built. That's in their contract, so we import their waste. How outrageous. Hence, the mask. Okay. This is the other affirmation that I... This actually helped me quite a bit. This was an affirmation I learned this about... Gosh, this is 17. I think I probably learned this one in 2012. I give myself time to get used to change. Uh, that came from Joyce Meyer in her uh, The Courage to Change, her little video series that she has. Now, she speaks uh, gospel and the scripture just like Carol did today on my radio show. I don't abide by all that, but you know what? It's not wrong. It's not incorrect. It We do need the courage to change, and we do... We're, I actually agree with the concept of God, right? Like, I think that we are, there's something, I mean, I don't know what the answer is. I mean, I was a pretty hard atheist until I gave birth, <laughs> to be honest. When I gave birth, I went, wow, man, there is something bigger than nothing. I, I'm, I went through a different phases, man, so I have no idea. <laughs> but I will tell you this, loving yourself works. I learned this phrase. This is in my office. And I keep this on this like little pedestal here. And it says, this is by Goethe. This is really great. 
This is the value of having an ex-husband who made me read four books a month and give him oral book reports. It's like I'm deeply imprinted with literature. I've read a lot of literature, folks, and a lot of philosophy. I didn't understand what I was... It wasn't, at like, guided with a professor. This is why I love school, because I love having a professor. I mean, I, for 10 years, I was required, well, not 10, I guess 7 years, because after about 7 and a half years, our daughter was born, and then the shit hit the fan, and I had to do everything. It was like, seriously, if you don't have kids, you have no idea how much it changes your entire everything. And once you have one kid, it, it's easy. It's like kind of like on a roll. At least it was for me. Whatever you think you can do or believe you can do, begin it. Action has magic, grace, and power in it. That's the point of this activism. That's why I'm standing in front of you with a mask on. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it immediately obedient. That's what I learned from Joyce Meyer. When we get that spur, that idea, like we pray to God, like, oh, God, send me a lot of money or make things work for me or do this or find me a new job or get me a new car. Well, or even just protect my children. All of those things that we ask of the unknown source of protection and love. He doesn't just write us a check. He doesn't give us a new car. He doesn't get a big bad babysitter for our kids. That's our job. We have to go. He does give us the spark, the idea. He leads us down the alleyways. We can figure it out. I mean, if it's it, the immediately obedient. That came from Joyce Meyer, and that phrase seriously helped me quite a bit to have courage. Um, please take action. We're coming up on six years of Fukushima. Whatever, the, whatever you think you can do, Begin it. Please. The planet is waiting for all of us to take action. Action has magic, grace, and power in it. Just like the fucking mag magic these guys did. You think 70 years ago, any general or any of the people in government who wanted to push nuclear on us would even believe that we would be doubting that nuclear causes harm to any kid living next door to it? That we would actually ignore the fact that living next to a nuclear power plant increases your radiation and causes a higher level of cancer, that children would be dying of cancer? Do you think that any of the, and that they could get people to ignore it? That's the thing. Oh, well, let's have these children hospital commercials where everybody feels good about kids getting treatment for cancer. Well, why the fuck are they getting it? I don't know about you, but I was very upset last week. I saw another little girl picture posted. What's her name? Chappelle Nadal, I think is her name, Senator Chappelle Nadal, she posted a picture of a seven-year-old child, a sweet, beautiful little girl who died of brain cancer from St. Louis. You know what? I heard, uh, what's the guy? Hakeem? Alasui, I think is his name. He was a physicist speaking on CNN. You can Google gangsta physicist. He was talking about how he was asked to speak at a prison. Uh, he went from being a janitor, went to school, and became a physicist. This man works with governments. He was on C-SPAN, so he's pretty well known. He made a passing comment about if we're going to save humanity, we have to leave this planet. I went, fuck you. Like, why not fucking fix the planet? You're a fucking genius. It's your brain. You're the one who fucking understands physics. Like, what the fuck? There has to be something we can do to fix it. Period. And frankly, there is. There's microbes. We know microbes work. We know we can solve a large portion of it if we got microbes all over this. And anybody who listens to this that has a farm or a large plot, 
If you can afford it, you should talk to Chuck Hyman. I'll put his link in here from Mid America Restoration. It's called uh, Mid Mid America Restoration, and uh, it's Mid America Restore. I think just put it in Chuck Hyman. You can find him, and I'll have the link. The microbes change the earth and help absorb the radiation. There's things that we can do. They haven't even attempted. This is the issue with the nuclear industry. Because nobody gets uh, convicted, they haven't even attempted to look. They delay, delay. They don't talk about it. They're, the culture at the IAEA is the 90% rule. Underreport the negative effects of radiation by 90%. And deny radiation causes harm. I'm going to dig that out of the John Goffman book that I read. And I'm going to photograph it and put it up. Because it is an outrage. This is their, and in fact, the EPA is doing it on everything. All the chemicals, they underreport. And they deny that it causes harm. Same thing with Monsanto, under report, deny it causes harm. Same thing with vaccines and big pharma, under report, deny it causes harm. I mean, this is the mentality of the American businesses in this country. Where are the ethics? Where is the humanity? I mean, I guess I am shocked because I'm naive. Because the people running this country came here and slaughtered every nation on this continent. There isn't one left intact with its borders intact, with the people respected, with their traditions respected. Not one nation on this continent is left intact. Time for us to do some house cleaning, man. And to remind ourselves that this, 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 this. It is my divine right to change my life. Say that as often as you can. I am safe. I am safe. It is my divine right to change my life. I love, honor, and approve of myself. We cannot say that enough, folks. That's an important message. I love, honor, and approve of myself. Oh, gosh. I haven't had my glasses on. I bet you I've talked for too long. Boy, 20 minutes. Okay, I think I'll cut this up. <laughs> there we go. But now, you see, I can see you and I can see the clock. But from here to there without my glasses, I can't. Um, put your courage feet on, you guys. <laughs> Expect this to be choppy because I'm going to cut it up. <laughs> 20 minutes is just way too long, boo. Ciao.